everybody and welcome to Storytime with Orange County Public Libraries. My name is Miss Christy and today I picked out another exciting book for us to read. It is called The Not So Quiet Library written by Zachariah O'Hora. But before we get to our story we're gonna do a song so let's get started. Okay. Hey friends, so our first song is called, If You Ever See a Monster. And I surely hope that none of you see a big scary monster out in the wild because, you know, they're scary. But if you do, think about this song and you'll know what to do. So it goes like this. If you ever see a monster, a big ugly monster, if you ever see a monster, here's what you should do. Make this face, and that face, and this face, and that face. If you ever see a monster, be sure to shout, boo! Yay! All you have to do is scare it, and then it won't scare you. Okay, who's ready for a story? I am. Okay, so like I said, our story today is called The Not-So-Quiet Library by Zachariah O'Hora. Here they are. Every Saturday, Oscar and Theodore got up bright and early not to watch cartoons or play outside with their friends. It was the day they went to the library with dad. Dad always said that a day of quiet exploration required a proper breakfast. Ooh, look, they get to go to the donut store. Oh my gosh, all of those look so good. I think I would get this chocolate covered one for sure though. At the library, Theodore and Oscar returned their old books, waved to Mrs. Watson, and crept past old pickled onion Mr. Tasker. Uh-oh, he doesn't look very nice. <laughs> they headed down to the children's department while Dad headed up to the map to the nap department. <laughs> Oscar and Theodore were just settling into another quiet library day when boom, crash, growl. Shh, knock it off, Theodore. It's not me. Boom, crash, growl. <sighs> it appeared there was a monster in the library. Oh no! There's a monster in the library. And Theodore says, told you it wasn't me. Oh my goodness. This monster has many heads. More than I, I only have one. I think you probably only have one too. They couldn't outrun the monster, so they tried hiding. Oh, here they, they're trying to hide in the bookshelves. You better not mess with us, monster. My brother knows Kung Fu. Yeah, right, says the monster. And bluffing. They even tried trapping the monster, but that just made him angrier. Uh-oh, they're trying to staple him to the floor. I don't think that's gonna work either. The only option left was diplomacy. Excuse me, Mr. Monster, is something wrong? Yeah, there's something wrong. We hate books. The many-headed monster had tried everything to make books taste good. Chuck tried mustard. Blech. Seymour topped his with whipped cream, but he still thinks the book tastes terrible. Winston swallowed his book whole, and Pat tried hot sauce. 
Bob used sprinkles, but they just bounced right off the books. You guys have a feeling why these monsters think books taste so bad? Actually, books are for reading. What? You mean this whole restaurant is filled with things we can't eat? It's not a restaurant, it's a library. Silly monsters. Well, we'll just have to eat you instead. Grab the sprinkles, Winston. Wait! That's when Theodore remembered something. Donuts! Perfect! You guys will taste great with donuts on top! <laughs> yum, yum! Oh, that didn't work out as planned. They're still gonna get eaten with the donuts. Uh-oh. Thankfully, Ms. Watson stepped in. See? Always trust a librarian to step in right at the correct time. Story time, everyone. Please sit crisscross applesauce. Mmm, story time. Sounds tasty. Applesauce. I like applesauce. I like applesauce, too. Sorry about the whole gonna eat you thing. That was just the low blood sugar talking. I don't know what's better, this book or this donut. Books sound so much better than they taste. Luckily, monsters like story time as much as they like donuts. After story time, the monster promised to clean up the library. Bes besides, Mrs. Watson could really use some help reaching the high shelves. You know what? Now that I think about it, I could maybe use a monster in this library. The boys promised to return for story time every Saturday. After Bob, Seymour, Winston, Pat, and Chuck promised not to eat them. And that's how the not so quiet library became quiet again. And Oscar says, how did you know that monsters love donuts? And Theodore says, I read it in a book. <laughs> the end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I loved this story. Um, the library here is usually very quiet and we like to use our inside voices when we're picking out books. And the good news is that I have just gotten word that the Orange County Public Libraries are all a officially monster free so there is no chance that we're gonna get eaten at the library which is always a good thing uh, but before I let you guys go we're gonna sing one more song so I'll see you in a minute okay so the last song that we're gonna do today is called dance your fingers up so you're gonna put your hands and your little fingers up in the air just like this and follow along it goes Dance your fingers up, dance your fingers down, dance your fingers to the sides, and dance them all around. Just do them all in a little circle. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your tummy, and put them into bed. Good night, little fingers. Okay, well, I guys, hope you guys really enjoyed our story and our songs today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.